do have a pretty bad situation unfolding right now in Hawaii. Much of the historic town of Lahaina is believed to be gone. Dozens of homes and businesses, they've been destroyed. The Coast Guard used a helicopter and a boat to rescue people who literally jumped into the ocean to escape from the flames and smoke. The wildfires are being called the worst natural disaster in the state in 30 years. That was back in uh, 1993 when Hurricane Aniki hit. Firefighters, they're up against a multitude of weather challenges, erratic winds, some gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour. We have low humid humidity, challenging terrain. We have fire weather warnings which remain in effect. And notice where they're at. It's on the western side of the Hawaiian Islands. And let's talk about this, Jane right. and Craig, because yeah. the winds are an important component. I mean, we look at the currents, and we'll we'll get to the setup in, in just a little bit, but when we look at what's been evolving in, in this part uh, of Hawaii, it was really late last night that things began to erupt. We had high wind warnings in effect, drier vegetation, but where we've seen the fires start in Lahaina, mm -hmm. that's on the western side of Maui. Right. Wind and terrain, the reason Wind and for that. terrain. Yeah, and you think about it, and you look at the red on that map, and you're looking at what well, you're thinking, what about the other side? Because they're getting in the strongest winds, right? But a lot of the winds are coming down off of the mountains, compressing and heating up on the western side of each of those islands, bringing the humidity way down and the wind gusts way up. So yeah, it might be a little bit windy on the western or on the eastern side half of the island. It's the western half that's getting the dry down sloping winds, causing those fire concerns out there and outages Power outages keep going in. Nineteen percent, and this is from Maui County, which, by the way, Maui, the, the island, but also too, it includes Lanai, Lanai yes. and and around it, and then um, Molokai. Molokai up yeah. to the north there. And so, you know, there are multiple areas dealing with power outages, and I know a lot of the fire danger has been on the western side of Maui, you know, where we have Lahaina, but you have the smoke that's now being transferred to these other islands because of how much vegetation is burning. You have those easterly trade winds that are always going. Going to be in play for the Hawaiian Islands, but because we have such a decent pressure gradient right yeah, now, yeah. that's what's helping to really funnel in the strong, the strength of these winds. And let's focus on because what we're looking at here is the smoke right over Lanai City, mm -hmm. and and where the fires have really been burning are over Lahaina, uh, but in Kahului, which is on uh, Maui, it's it's the the most densely populated city, Kahului. There, 1,800 passengers overnight took shelter. In, in the airport as a result of these fires which were burning. Now, on the eastern side of, of Maui, that's where the winds had been originating. And we've seen, it's hard to, there's, there's a few dead zones that we're watching with radar here. Well, you've here. got the mountains right here. See the mountains there, and this perhaps some signs of, of where we've had, had the fire. I mean, the images which we've been showing you coming out, it's almost as if these fires raced down the slopes right, right toward Lahaina, yeah. and we've had structures, confirmed structures, which have gone and that's a place. steep gradient. The top of the mountain there to the east is 6,000 feet in elevation, a little higher than 6,000 feet. You go to the town of Lahaina, which is just at three feet above sea level. So there's a huge drop yeah. with the mountains. So those mountains are coming down fast. It's not like a gradual descend down. They're coming down fast and even compressing even hotter and faster. And, and to wrap this up, as we have been mentioning, we have a powerful hurricane, Hurricane Dora, right now mm -hmm. south of Hawaii. It's the, the pressure gradient of Dora and this extremely strong ridge of high pressure to the north, mm -hmm. creating this wind and this compactness uh, of the winds have enhanced the, the trades. So right. that's what we've been dealing with, un unfortunately. Yeah. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.